Hello everyone, it is me, Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and uh, today the day has come for me to share with you my weekly recap video. In this video uh, we are going to check uh, the trading plan I shared with you last week. Uh, we are going to talk a little bit about the idea behind the plan. Uh, we are going to see how it developed, uh, if we had any opportunities to enter and of course as usual I'm going to uh, tell you my future predictions regarding this pair. Uh, so let's get started. Last week I shared with you a, a short-term trading plan on the EURUSD uh, currency pair and this is the plan itself posted on TradingView. Uh, first a few words about the plan. As you can see I have marked a few levels, a uh, few H4 levels uh, because usually H4 levels tend to stop uh, H1 trends. So in this case you can see how uh, the pair reacted from this H4 resistance area here. Uh, this is the H1 chart. We had a very strong uh, and long uptrend here for um, around uh, let's say four to five days. And from there uh, we can see that after reaching this H4 resistance uh, we saw a huge dump into the price and a nice nice uh, downtrend which could have uh, given us some great results. Now, since the price was again close to this H4 resistance area when I posted the trading plan, my expectations were uh, for us to see uh, the same scenario, uh, so a bounce from this H4 resistance and a drop uh, probably to this H4 support here which was our first target and maybe in a more long-term matter uh, drop to this H4 support here which was our target too uh, this was a more long-term target. Another thing I have marked on the graph was this H1 uh, previous bottom. Uh, this is so uh, we have to watch this level because even if we manage to enter somewhere here on the lower time frames M15 or M5 or M30 it depends uh, which time frame you prefer to trade. Uh, this is a level to watch uh, because there is a chance for the price to bounce a bit especially on the lower time frame so it would be a good level to lock in some of the profits. Now without further ado let's see how the plan developed so far and we are going to talk a little bit about where we could have entered and if we shared any life signals with you and also about uh, the future price, price movement expectations. As you can see, uh, right after the plan was posted, we had a stab in the H4 resistance and a very nice drop, almost reaching to this H4 support area. After that, the price retraced back up to the H4 resistance, then another drop followed, reaching uh, like 5 pips away from the H4 support. And after that, a new uptrend wave uh, happened. It broke through the H4 resistance area then retraced back to it, uh, we had another wave up, then another retracement to it, another wave up and we are currently standing again above that H4 resistance which uh, just for the future prediction I want to say here uh, has now turned into an H4 support area. Now this is the live uh, graph of the EURUSD H1 uh, time frame. Uh, you can see with this triangle here is where the trading plan itself was posted. Now a few opportunities here uh, where we could have looked for entry. Unfortunately I wasn't able to share with you a live signal but you could have taken uh, some nice profits out of this plan. Uh, the first thing here was this uh, strong uh, bearish uh, show of power, let's say it. Uh, you can see how the price entered into the H4 resistance and was quickly pushed down and the candle formed a huge huge whip on top. Um, this shows the domination of the bears on the market so an entry at the end of this candle would be okay. Uh, for those of you who prefer to play it safe you could have entered on the next one or you could have waited for uh, this previous top to be broken. So uh, in this case your entry would have been placed at the end of this candle. If you are entering on 
on the H1 time frame, of course. Uh, then a second possibility arose when the price retraced back here. Again, we had a spinning top candle, then an engulfing uh, bearish candle, which is a sign of uh, bear strength again. So uh, we could have looked for an entry right here at the end of this candle. Um, this is the H1. Now, if we go a little bit lower to the M15, let's see what we have here. So, again, a few opportunities. Uh, here you could have entered, I'll delete those. You could have entered a little bit earlier after the price failed to break this top. And if we consider this, the previous M15 top uh, right here, you could have entered all the way on this candle here by placing your stop loss, of course, about the H4 resistance. Now on the second uh, time the price uh, reached uh, this H4 resistance, we had, uh, as you can see, uh, M15 engulfing. Uh, this is one indication for uh, an upcoming downtrend or you could have waited for uh, this level here formed, which is basically the previous stop on the M15. Uh, if we take the whip of the, with the candle also, uh, you could have entered uh, after it was broken, so maybe somewhere even here or let's say here. Now, both of those were great opportunities. Of course, regarding management, you could have closed uh, some percentage and put your stop loss at break even uh, when the price broke uh, this H1 top, with, which we discussed. So. Uh, either here or here. Uh, again, uh, in this case here, you can see the strong reaction from the bulls and a huge candle, so you could have closed some percentage over here. Those were just two opportunities that could have uh, made you some nice profits. Uh, after the break, I'll turn back to the H1. Uh, Again, we had a few possibilities as the H4 uh, resistance uh, turned into a support area. So you could have entered somewhere here, even here, and probably now uh, we will keep monitoring it as this, if this uh, zone, H4 support zone now holds, I expect a new rise in the price. Uh, but I'm going to talk uh, about that in a bit. I just want to uh, define possible entry spots uh, for the buy side. Uh, the first thing was here. This was the previous bottom the price made. We had a correction here, then uh, a down wave. Actually, it consolidated for a while at this spot uh, before being broken down, but it quick, uh, the price quickly retraced up, so you could have entered uh, somewhere on this or if you go to the M15 somewhere on this uh, huge candle after it broke this consolidation uh, here again kind of say uh, the same uh, we had uh, this previous top let me just change the color of this this previous top so <coughs> sorry so an entry would have been possible on this candle. Uh, now about the future predictions. Uh, here we stand just about the H4, uh, now support zone, as I said. Uh, as you can see here, we had a consolidation before the downtrend wave continued. So, if uh, you're looking for short-term opportunities, you can look for a buy opportunity somewhere here with uh, this area in mind as a first target. This will be around 30, 40 pips. Uh, of course, you can just, if you see, if you have a signal that uh, a reversal might occur from here, you can just close some percentage. But if this area is uh, broken, you can move your stop loss in profit just below it and uh, look for a target somewhere up here. 
where the previous stops were and you can see uh, that a few times we had a reaction from this zone so this is a good first target um, this would give you around 60 pips of profit of course it might continue further up but as it is a short-term uh, trading plan we'll be looking for short-term trades uh, again there is the chance for the price uh, going down and breaking uh, below this H4 uh, zone of support now uh, in that case I would advise to wait for a possible correction move up back inside the broken H4 uh, support zone which will again turn into a resistance zone although it won't be as strong as before and from here uh, if you get a good signal you can go short until this H4 support area here and maybe further below we'll see how it uh, moves uh, just to uh, mention that today we have a decision from the uh, Federal Reserve about their interest rate so uh, we will probably see a lot of volatility especially on the Euro USD uh, currency pair so I would advise you to look for uh, entry opportunities uh, either after uh, the interest rate and the press conference or tomorrow that's it on this recap I hope you managed to catch uh, some of the positions we discussed here uh, I also hope you like the trading plan there is I have already posted a new trading plan this week uh, which you can see on trading view and the full technical analysis on YouTube uh, so enjoy that and uh, join our telegram where we have already uh, exceeded 150 uh, participants uh, we are trying our best to give you only profitable signals of course they are losing ones from time to time but mainly uh, we are in a very good shape and uh, we make very good profits and it's all for free so join it from the link below thank you very much for the attention and our team wishes you a profitable week